if you're watching this you probably have seen a dip in your instagram reach lately in this video we're going to go over how you can do to increase your reach on instagram hello guys my name is sarah and i am a travel content creator let's dive right into it the first question is what is an instagram reach so an instagram reach is the number of unique accounts that have seen your reel your post or your story at least once don't get this confused with impressions we're talking about the number of accounts you reach on every single post or reel you make. So the first thing we're going to do is find out what your current reach is. And to do that, what we'll do is you go into your professional dashboard and if you scroll all the way to reach, you click on reach and you can filter to see your reach for the last three months, seven days or one month. I think three months is a good overview of what has been happening recently on your account. So if you filter for three months, as you can see on this screenshot, then you know what your reach is. So before I dive into my tips that are going to help you increase your reach i have to say something really important one thing you should never do is compare your reach to others so for us travel content creators do not compare your reach to another travel content creator talk less of someone outside your niche there are so many factors that contribute to determining how much accounts you can reach so number one how long you've held your account the niche you are how often you're posting there are just so many factors so one thing you should not do is to compare your reach with someone else now that we know that let's go into my first tip on how to increase your instagram reach tip number one will be to recreate successful reels what do i mean by that so when we sorted out the number of reach on each reels you could see it was done from the top reach to the low performing reels so if you look at the reels that have performed really well try to recreate them and post them again and that will help you reach more accounts because people actually enjoyed that particular reel so this is something that i really like i have tried it and it works so a lot of times you post a reel or make a post that you thought was going to go viral and it didn't or was going to perform well and it didn't you just need to find out what's working well and what's not working well by looking at your top performing reels and the low performing ones from personal experience i realized that on reels that i use my own audio maybe me talking to you or my personally generated audio it doesn't do well as opposed to when i use other people's audios or trending audios so i have found out that using trending audios have helped my reels or my posts reach out more people and thus it has increased my reach on instagram so this is tip number one from me tip number two will be to help instagram help you what do i mean by that there's so many restrictions or guidelines that instagram does not want you to go against so for example instagram doesn't like you buying followers it doesn't like you doing all these engagement loops or follow for follow if you're doing all of that maybe instagram will shadow ban you and to find out if you've been shadow banned if you go into the three dots and go into settings on your instagram account scroll all the way down and you look at account status it will tell you if you've done something wrong if you've taken out your video or you've got any strikes it will be in there if you've got nothing in there that means you are not in trouble with instagram and then another thing you have to do is evaluate your audience so what do i mean by that i'll give myself as an example my instagram account i started the account as a home account i was sharing mainly home and some travel and then in october last year i decided i wanted to focus solely on travel so once i started posting stuff about travel my reach was at all-time low and i was losing followers as expected because my followers were expecting home content and when instagram was pushing out travel related content to them they were not engaging they were not liking they were not watching these reels or stories so what you have to do is just carry on posting you know carry on posting what you're doing put out valuable content and instagram will catch up with you and start showing your posts to the right people and then you'll start gaining followers that are interested 
in your content and it takes me back to the whole loop thing because if you go to a follow loop people will follow you because you're in the same loop but they are not interested in your content and when instagram pushes out your content to them they are not going to engage with it they are not going to watch it they are not going to like it and if instagram realizes that these people don't like your content they're not going to push it out and then your content is not going to be performing well and that will in turn reduce your reach as well on instagram so make sure you're following the guidelines and always evaluate your audience make sure you're speaking to your audience tip number three will be to reuse and recycle this is something i really like so every time you do not have to create fresh content so if you've got a month posting fresh content go back to the content you've posted look at a reel that did really well and recycle use that content again so many times i've used the same caption or the same hook that has done really well again and it's done well because people like it people engage with it it will do well maybe not as the first time but it's still gonna do well so always reuse your content and another thing i do is because i'm on youtube and i am on instagram sometimes i use videos i've done for my shorts on instagram and vice versa something might do well on youtube and it will not do on instagram same as it might do on instagram and it will not do on youtube so you just need to try keep recycling reusing and that's just going to take off the pressure of always thinking you have to create fresh content every time which can be quite stressful so before we move on to my last tip i'm just gonna ask you to please take this moment to like this video if you've not already done so and please subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any future videos from me and my last tip will be stay consistent this is so important instagram likes you to be consistent the moment you're not consistent you get punished it's as simple as that so by consistency i do not mean you have to post every day or five times a day you need to put a schedule for yourself if you've decided you're going to be posting twice a week monday and thursday stick to that post twice a week every week i don't want you posting seven videos this week and then no video next week and two videos another week that's not being consistent instagram likes to know what you're doing and if you're consistent and you show up when they're expecting you to show up they will push out your videos but if you're not consistent unfortunately the way the algorithm is it's going to punish you and then you have to work really really hard for your content to go out there Wait. to summarize i will say follow the guidelines that instagram wants you to stay consistent and post valuable content if you do all of these and show up when instagram expects you to show up your reach will definitely increase i hope you found this video useful and if you did give it a thumbs up like share and i'll see you on my next one